What's going on guys? Gonna keep it short and sweet for you. Uh, a little rainy day, so I thought I'd do a lure review or comparison. Just got my hands on the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Uh, it's a bladed jig. Uh, this is gonna be their premium or Strike King's top of the line bladed jig. They have a pure poison as well. Trash, in case you're wondering, they're awful, don't buy it. So that retails at $10.99. Um, and I just got my hands on one. I bought it at Pressy's Outdoors. Um, the gonna compare that to the uh, the Jackhammer. Jackhammer came out. I want to say last fall or so. Um, but you heard some hype about that. Brett Height, big bladed jig thrower, um, and he kind of sponsored that. This is fifteen ninety nine. Ooh, fifteen ninety nine versus ten ninety nine. Same kind of a price point. And then I'm gonna compare it to the like the premium z-man chatterbait these things are like seven bucks 6.99 um and then this is the entry level z-man chatterbait uh, and i'll talk about all the differences between them this one retails for five bucks so it goes from five to seven to 11 to 16 uh so we'll go ahead and just walk right up through all the chatterbaits i throw a ton of chatterbaits i'm very very picky about what i want and don't want on a chatterbait um, so I'll talk to you guys all about the features and the stuff that really is kind of driving me nuts about them and maybe some things that I really like about them. So we'll start on the entry level one, the $5 chatterbait, um, and we'll work our way up from there. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So this is the $5 Z-Man chatterbait. Um, really, honestly, this is the best meat and potatoes chatterbait there is. This little line tie used to be a feature only on the Pro model, and they eventually brought it to the lower end model or the $5 model, which is a really, really nice feature because the other line tie was a snap swivel, and it was not that great. I really didn't like it. I broke off a lot of snap swivels, and you'd lose your bait, or you get a musky or northern would come up and eat it, and it would just trash it. The only downside really to this bait or the difference between this and the next step up is that it has this poured silicone band skirt. So once these little silicone actual strands break, you end up with getting, you end up with holes. Um, and you can see already, it's kind of a translucent, somewhat of a vibe to the actual skirt. Anytime you have the, the single hula band is what I'll call it. Um, but you can throw a new skirt on there. It's not really that big of a deal for five bucks, great value. Moving on, so this is the next most expensive chatterbait, at least for what, you know, that I'm going to talk about. There's a ton of different bladed jigs out there. Um, I call them chatterbaits, just kind of the same reason why you say pass me a Kleenex. It's just a manufacturer thing, so technically not correct, I get it, but it's just a force of habit. So this is the actual, this is a pro model Z-Man. Um, again, you can look, this has got like a three and a half tab or maybe even a four tab skirt color combinations versus this versus this the obviously the pro has a lot better color combinations and there's a much more realistic a lot more volume too because you don't have that hula hula band or whatever you want to call it this has actually got a wire tied skirt too which is a really nice feature surprisingly for a seven dollar bait so pretty impressed by that uh, longevity that wire tie definitely helps keep the bait together for the long term um, for the extra two dollars it's kind of tough not to splurge and get the uh the little nicer one um if it was if this was ten dollars i'd say okay but for seven dollars versus five dollars i just really like this i liked having that tied skirt so again awesome value so let's see how that stacks up against the thunder cricket okay so let's start at the top I don't like the snap swivel. I'm not gonna here to try to change your bias. I just really don't like snap swivels on bladed jigs. I just, I, so, so for me, I fish bladed jigs on braid and I boat flip all my fish and I catch northern and musky and I, I the combination of that just seems to tear these snap swivels up. And once you tear the snap swivel up, I suppose you could probably replace it, but I don't know. I just really don't like it. I would prefer to have the line tie system that Z-Man has. Maybe that's a patent thing and they can't do it, so can't really speak to that. Blade-wise, it is very thin. Like, if I'm going to talk about how this is comparing to the Z-Man, it's got a much thinner blade. The profile is a lot smaller compared to this. 
of the actual what will catch water they cut the edges of this out if you look at the how that's kind of squared off and that's kind of rounded so what do i think that's going to do for the bait well i think this is going to make the bait right a little deeper in the water column because it's not going to collect as much water um but i don't know i would actually have to use it so again the blade's thinner you got a snap swivel neither one of those features i can't say i really necessarily like the one thing that i will say that i really don't care for about this is how dang thin the skirt is i thought so like i'll give you a point of reference so this is the seven dollar z-man versus the thunder cricket just skirt density wise you can see the difference i mean this is a cheaper bait this is a z-man the pro model and there's probably a whole another whole tab maybe two in the z-man over the thunder cricket if you look at the thunder cricket it is very thin now again you guys are going to have trailers on this so that's going to bulk it up but this is just a pretty spindly looking skirt if i don't say so myself i really kind of would expect it to have a little more meat and potatoes there um for eleven dollars but i mean i guess something i have to deal with it's not tied either you have the rubber bands really don't like that um that's going to be in two years i'm going to open up my box and this thing's not going to have a skirt and there's just going to be loose strands hanging everywhere it's what's going to happen anybody if you guys have had the same thing happen uh drop a comment in there is that not the most frustrating thing in the world opening up your spinner bait and buzz bait and swim jig box or whatever and having just loose strands everywhere and you get this gummy nasty disaster of a rubber band just floating around um anyway not to get too much off topic i like the trailer keeper i like the single wire um and you can actually run it all the way up on to these little ribbed metal section or ribbed pieces that are actually part of the lead head all in all, it looks pretty good. I mean, the actual profile, I can't knock it. It's real. It's got some real good colorations to it. They painted the blade, uh, the head. I like the. This is for a bluegill color. It looks really, really good. I really like the bluegill color combinations. Wish it would have had the different line tie. I wish it would have been a wire tied skirt, maybe a little thicker volume wise. But I mean, we'll see how that stacks up against the jackhammer. So for me, I think that these are the two most comparable bladed jigs. So Strike King has a pure poison bladed jig, um, which is junk. Um, and this was supposed to be their, like, I'm going to say their top end bladed jig uh, in the Thunder Cricket. So this is the top end of, well, I guess it's the top end of everything, really, for bladed jig, the jackhammer. They're going to retail for like $15.99, not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but basically the same price what you're going to pay for most crankbaits or jerkbaits so it's not really that bad in the grand scheme of things 10.99 versus 15.99 so you know you're getting about a five dollar difference between the two which is noticeable but i mean let's just kind of compare the two head wise very similar i mean they are almost identical the blade on the jackhammer is actually going to be the same as the uh z-man the jackhammer seems to have a little bit thicker of a blade potentially um the snap swivel definitely seems a lot nicer on this one I, again i'd wish it would have had the different line type but that may be just a copyright thing to be honest with you um but this one definitely seems well made i don't think it's going to pop off skirt color combination wise hello i mean these things are this gorgeous i mean green pumpkin i like the way that you have two different types of chartreuse a translucent and a, an opaque chartreuse and then you have these shad colors here that if you look at these strands right here have uh the chartreuse or the neon glow in it to accent the chartreuse i mean overall skirt wise awesome i mean this is a really really good looking color combination i'm really happy with it looking down how it's attached first i thought it had a rubber band but looking at it now it's like a single wrapped like some sort of like a teflon or like an 80 pound braid seems like sort of a string so it's actually tied it's not a rubber band skirt which i like um but it's made of it's not a like an actual wire tied so i'm curious how that's gonna fare longevity wise if that will ever come untied or how they tied that as long as that doesn't come untied i will probably prefer that over wire because sometimes a wire if they don't crimp it down tight enough will catch a bunch of vegetation because you'll have that loose wire kind of hanging around but uh, 
coming down here in the trailer keeper department, man, this is stout. I mean, I, I really do think that I'm going to, one, I won't say it's a knock, but uh, one thing about the Z-Man, they have like this lead hook trailer keeper. And there is times that I'll run a swim bait on this and I'll have it pushed up and that swim bait won't stay on there anymore. And I could probably take it off of this and throw it on this. It would probably stay, to be upfront and honest with you. Um, just, I like that dual hook. And then again, you can run it all the way up here and put some super glue up in here if you want that bait to stay. All in all, for 15 bucks a thing, I, I got no knocks. It's really well put together. Another thing I will note is that comparatively between the two, the jackhammer has just a slightly smaller, thinner wire hook to it. And it's got a, it's got a little bit of flex to it, which I, I guess I'm not a huge fan of because I fish, again, everything on braid. But for the guys using fluorocarbon, that's going to probably help you out a little bit. Um, with the overall hook sets and keeping fish hooked up but that's really it i mean just comparing the you know the, the in my opinion the most uh popular different brackets for bladed jigs um i would say if you don't have at least two of every color and you don't have a lot of bladed jigs all together i'd say get the five dollar z-man um, if you want maybe a little bit more of an upgrade, the, the pro version Z-Man's nice. The Thunder Cricket, I think you kind of get, you kind of fall in between. I think that I would either spend $7 on that or I would spend $15 on that, but I don't think I'd spend $11 on that. I don't think that there's really anything about the Thunder Cricket that really sets it apart. I mean, it's a, a, a premium bladed jig and I just there's a lot of things i really don't like about it the, the big thing is just I, I think that it's incredibly thin in the skirt department and it doesn't it's not even tied so both of those are pretty pretty i don't know it's kind of say it's kind of a bummer seeing that the two on both sides of it the one cheaper than it and the one a little bit more expensive than it is uh they both have tied skirts and this one doesn't so anyway i think they're all great baits um there's you guys have heard my the, my uh, opinion on them as far as what i like about each one and dislike about each one if there's something i did in this video that you didn't like or maybe there's a style that you'd like me to do just let me know guys i'd really like to hear your feedback the whole point of this channel is to help you guys and help you guys make decisions um so again if there's anything i can improve at all feel free to uh to leave a, a comment below and i'd really appreciate it Till next time take it easy guys